Without a doubt, my most memorable day was day one. With the assistance of Space Station Commander Ola Konenyenko, Christina Cook of NASA, the first one through the hatch, being greeted by her That was the day that I have seared in my memory. Visions when I first arrived here, opening the hatch, seeing some of my best friends on the other side, floating through, seeing my first glimpses of the actual interior of the space station after having traveled here for six hours on a small Soyuz spacecraft, that it actually exists for the betterment of humanity, doing science and exploring, that it was real and that I got to live here. I'm very privileged to have that as one of my favorite memories. The surprise that I've uncovered is the human body and mind's ability to adapt to any situation. I sometimes joke that before Jessica got here and before I you know, heard her all the time explain, exclaiming about how exciting and fun it was to float, I think I had actually forgotten that I was floating. The human mind just has an ability to really accommodate any situation and to turn it into normal. So for example, the fact that we can just work right on the ceiling like this, and not even know the difference between the two. So it's really been an exciting and a huge surprise to see that life up here can actually become normal. I'd have to say any meal that we share together is a great one. And of those, some of my favorites, I would say would be our pizza nights. Our folks on the ground send up care packages sometimes and they'll put together a little non-perishable pizza kit. And we're able to actually make pizzas in our kind of makeshift space oven using tin foil and a little bit of creativity and seeing what everybody comes up with and sharing with each other and just something a little different, a little bit out of the norm that we actually feel like we get to prepare ourselves as opposed to just opening up uh, out of a packet. It's really special and it's a lot of fun. One really striking moment was the first time I saw my hometown in the area where I grew up, which is coastal North Carolina, and seeing those outer banks come into focus around the horizon and suddenly realizing what I was looking at was a just breathtaking moment. Some of the other favorite things I have to look at would be definitely the auroras, the northern lights and the southern lights. I spent so many years working in the Antarctic and the Arctic and seeing those auroras from below. And so to see them on a planetary scale from above is just truly mind blowing. You know, just like those memories of day one, there are a couple flashes that I'll just never ever forget. Spacewalk with Jessica Mir was just an unbelievable honor. And there were times when we looked at each other, for example, right when we came out the hatch, we caught each other's eye and we knew that we really were honored with this opportunity to inspire so many. And just hearing our voices talk to Mission Control and knowing that two female voices had never been on the loop solving those problems together outside was a really special feeling. Subscribe for more space.